Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. I am giving a tour of our very small home we just purchased in Florida. It is in an RV resort called The Great Outdoors. And you can go research it. There are multiple Great Outdoors, by the way, in various states in the US. This is a very small, a little cottage kind of a place with a great room concept, uh, two bedrooms, and my craft space, which is what I want to show you today, is down here in the Florida room. It has these very big glass doors. And I had mentioned that my husband, who was actually going to be down in the room where my drafting table is, where I color, he ended up deciding he wanted to be up here in the living room so he could have a better view of the trail and our backyard, which is this trail in Florida called the Seminole Trail. So if I need to video, I can take and open these three panes of glass so that I am locked in the Florida room and then I can film and he can still continue on his merry way without worrying about being noisy or anything. So it works out really well. Uh, this is my area for projects and having guests to craft with me. I have lots of storage here. These three cabinets I bought off of the Florida, the Florida Facebook marketplace. So over here I have a stool and when I color I have had multiple surgeries on my spine so it is not good for me to sit hour after hour in one place all curled around a drawing. So I have given myself a stool and I try to color no more than like an hour at a time. I have uh, some special shelving. There's two pieces of shelving here. They're 10 inches deep. So I can have my uh, zippered cases too deep. That's why you only see three. There's actually six there. And then I wanted to show you, I noticed on my film showing my completed tote project where I have all of my portrait pencils out in a case. I noticed that when I had the overhead view, you couldn't see the full size of the case. And this was my original crafting tote that I purchased after our trailer accident. And I have since moved to a tall, smaller tote for going to crops and card making classes. So as I had been telling you before, I have this divided into seven sections. Uh, each of the larger segments, this one is the pink to purple, we have browns, white, yellow, orange, blues, and then greens on the left, and grays and blacks on the right. So, so far I have been enjoying having my pencils be so easy to get to. I do have them bound by brand in rubber bands. These are all the light fast, white, yellow, and orange. I do use the light fast and the Pablos the least, the polychromos and the luminance the most. Uh, the Derwent drawing, I use two colors, the white and the black. Here is the black floating around and uh, the white, I'm not sure where it is at at the moment. And then the little stack here of Derwent Studios, I also use very little. So, if I get going on a project, which I was just working on the cat face that I had started, actually I calculated, I started five years ago in 2018, wasn't happy with it at the time. It was my first attempt at doing my own coloring, not looking at a tutorial, though the cat drawing that I did the line art from is from a tutorial, the finished piece of one of the YouTube artists, and I wanted to pick my own colors. And I don't think I did a very good job back then. However, when I did redo it this time, I thought I did a much better job of picking colors, but I've also drawn a lot more and done a lot more studies, not necessarily cats. So this is one of the two Lazy Susans that I have. There's the empty one. 
So I like to have the buckets to be able to start a project, put it on here. If I need to put a label, I, w I can. And then I have my collapsible self-made Lazy Susan. This is in comes apart in pieces. And then I bought my Lazy Susan from Amazon. I got a pack of two so that I could do what I wanted with them. And this one I made, uh, I got this from the Dollar Tree, the white sectioned for, for holding pencils. So that I can still collapse. We will still be traveling. So I know that what I need to get for storage in the screen room here, I also need to still keep my original storage in the trailer so that if we do go off on a trip, I can quickly pack up with the same breakdown system that I had before. The, ni the nice thing is I won't ever have to fill up that poor trailer with as much stuff as I have had in the past. So right here are all of my projects to work on. I have some swatches here to put away. I finished with my Stadler project, though I still think I'm going to go back over that Pegasus with all the, all the flowers, and I'm going to use some gel pens now. I also thought I might do some glazing, so I have allowed myself to purchase all of the glaze pens I think that you can get. I got these from Amazon. And so I will be swatching those as well as possibly using those on the Pegasus when I get to finishing that. And then I have like five sets of pencils to go through and swatch and do projects with. And I will video those. Uh, so this here is our backyard. It is late afternoon, maybe maybe more mid-afternoon. And I run on the trail, so I just have to open my back door. There's our trail that runs through our backyard. And I can just pick whichever direction on the trail I choose to run. I think this trail within the park is two and a half miles long, and it also goes out past that fencing to the watershed. This is the St. John's watershed behind us. So it'll never be built on. It is all conservation land. So it will always be just like that. And I will never have to look at any other houses. So this is my space. Again, I can close the the big opening there and have it be all quiet if I want to. And then over here's the computer setup that I have. The cool thing about the way I've set these up with the this tray for each of the laptops is I can swing either one of the laptops around to and the big monitor when I was doing the Karen Hull reorganization and sorting all of these brands of pencils into their color family order according to Karen Hull's um, comparison chart that I did buy and I think it's well worth it. Oh, and I see I have a pencil. I'll have to remember to go get that. Um, I can swing around the big monitor so that I can see whatever it is I'm working on. I also have a little tablet that I can bring over. And this, of course, is a drafting table, so it does tilt up at an angle, though I typically draw flat. I know that's always a question people ask is, do you draw flat? Do you draw at an angle? Since most of the time I've always had to be flat in the trailer, even though this was the desk that I worked at in the trailer, and it kind of floated around in the very back. I have videos of how my organization space was in the back of the trailer. So I was able to shift around and view out any of the windows that I wanted to, I didn't typically tilt up the drafting part of the table uh, to dra draw at an angle. And it feels a little bit awkward now because I'm so used to drawing flat. So if you have any questions about my space, how we picked our space, I haven't even really done an article on my website. I, my blog uh, is for camping, stamping, drawing, anything. And it's we've been here over six months now. And I have just been so busy 
filling up the space, getting organized, nesting. I have family coming. I've already had my crafting friends come for um, a long weekend and now I have my family coming. So at some point I will sit down and, and write out how our whole ending of our full-time RV living, how that all happened, and how we found this place. I do have over on this side some of my drawings up, and there will hopefully be more and more as time goes on. My my colored pages usually stay in a binder. I don't, and, and some of the smaller studies are also in the binder. I have not shared that with you yet. That is the second half of my swatch book. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.